What's going on everyone? So, let me begin by saying I've never really had a strong opinion either way of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Uh, that's not to say I have anything against it, I really don't. Uh, I really like the first few games, specifically Sonic and Sonic and Knuckles, and uh, Sonic Pinball too, when I was really young, when I was a little kid. And I know there are a couple other games out there that I've played, like uh, Sonic Heroes and Sonic Riders, which I'm pretty ambivalent towards. And I I've heard this, the criticism surrounding this series, and I think some of it's unfounded, a lot of it is properly directed though. I mean, look at Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06, The Black Knight, and um, a few others, but they've had some other decent games too. They've had Sonic Generations, they've had, uh, I know that kind of Mario Galaxy-esque Sonic was pretty decent, but in general it seems like they, uh, they don't really know how to handle the series. I mean, the Twitter is very self-deprecating and it's pretty funny, but Otherwise, they just don't know what to do. They can't really make a seemingly good game, except for the odd one here or there. Fandom gets a lot of shit, and I, I think a lot of that's unfounded, too. They just let them live their lives, but that's not what this video is about. My whole concept, my whole idea around the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series is that it had a strong start with the first few games on the Genesis and stuff like that. And then it just kind of went through a rapid decline, and now they really don't know what to do with it. So it's, it, but it's not really something I played much. Hence the fact why I'm kind of a little indifferent to the series. I don't hate it, I don't love it, I just, it's just kind of out there for me. But when I heard the movie came out, again, the nostalgia for the early games that I played really stuck out. And I thought, oh, okay, well... I'm kind of interested. I was a little interested. And uh, video game movies are always a not a big deal, but it's there's always a lot of interest surrounding it because they have a history of being pretty bad. I know Wreck-It Ralph recently was um, an exception to that. It was pretty good. But otherwise, it, video game movies are a point of derision. They're things that are generally expected to be bad. And this one, at least from the looks of the trailer, kind of looks like it's going that way. It just looks like a generic kind of bad comedy to me. They, it just, the jokes seem really uninspired, and the acting is whatever, so-so. The animation looked okay. The design of Sonic, of course, that's what everyone is complaining about, looks pretty bad. He, uh, he, his legs just look too beefy or something like that, and... His hands seem too small, and of course the big one is, the two big ones are his eyes, they look completely wrong, he's supposed to have kind of one connected eye, and they look a lot smaller, and the teeth, the human teeth with a video game character that doesn't generally have it, it looks very weird. So overall, I can't really say I was very impressed by it. it and if you took Sonic out of this, and it was just a another movie that had the same comedy, kind of same premise. Guy comes down to save planet, stuff like that. Teams up with a guy to do that. It just, I probably wouldn't have even watched the whole trailer. It just looks like a generic comedy. But the fact that Sonic the Hedgehog is in this means that it has piqued a lot of people's interest. And it's now a part of a sta an established franchise. The one good thing we've gotten are the memes out of it so far. However... Something pretty moderately surprising came out. They released a tweet, the people running the movie, saying, We've heard your criticism, and we're going to respond. So, they're going to redesign Sonic because of the fan backlash. And I don't know if this is in good faith, or if this is damage control. Uh, it's, it's at least a mixture of both, in my opinion, what I think. But because of this, because they're willing to change it, no matter what the reason, now I think we should go and show our support for this movie. And my almost singular reason is because of the people that have to redo all the work, the animators. Everybody complained for a lot of good reasons that Sonic looked like trash. When something like that comes out, it, it, there's kind of like a unifying thing in the video game community. It doesn't matter if you're a Sonic fan or a Sonic hater, or if you're like myself, you're kind of ambivalent to the whole thing. It's a video game movie, nonetheless. 
and in essence, we all just kind of band together, and I don't know about you, but I root for that. I root for it to be good, for video games to be represented to a wider audience, to a more general audience, kind of. And when something comes out like this, it insults me as a video gamer. That they want to change it, it gives us hope that maybe it'll be something closer to the games, or at least look a little better. I'm sure they were trying to think of a design that was maybe more modern, or maybe more realistic in the setting. And let's be real, the original design of Sonic definitely doesn't lend itself to a realistic sort of setting, but this design that they did didn't do well. I think it was because maybe partially that, partially out-of-touch executives, but anyway, they're redoing it. But because they're redoing it about six months before the movie has been released, that means there's going to be a real human cost to all of this. And by that, I mean these people that have already put all the time and effort into animating this, that just went to waste a lot of it. Sonic's probably not in a lot of this movie, but still he's in some of it. And they still have a lot of work that they have to redo because they have to redesign a, a major asset of this movie. There's going to be a lot of overtime. There's going to be a lot of pressure from both the executives, from set deadlines, from the fan base, and not to mention, even if they delay the movie to give them more time, that just means they didn't have enough time to hit the original deadline, and there's more pressure to meet this new deadline. So these people are going to be under a lot of stress, a lot of missed nights at home with their families, or even time off, a lot of overtime, a lot of extra work and effort that these people have already put into it that they're going to have to keep putting into it. But what I'm saying is, essentially, because we've asked for the change, and they're giving it to us, now I think it's almost kind of the, the morally right thing to go and support it. Not because of the executives, because they made a lot of stupid decisions with this, but with the animators who are getting put through a lot of this kind of rigor now. Now, I'm not saying at all that we have to go out and support every crappy movie just because we feel bad for the animators and the workers and the people, because that would still line the pockets of the executives who are making stupid decisions that would mean that we're spending a lot of our money to see movies we don't want to see, and that would mean a lot of really bad movies would be getting a lot of sequels that nobody else wants. A lot of wasted time, energy, and resources. However, I think this in particular is an exceptional circumstance. Because not only am I a bit biased, a bit partial to video games and video game movies, and I want to see it su succeed, but also the fact that they are changing something. They responded to fan feedback, whether it's damage control or whether it's out of the goodness of their heart. They are listening. And because of that, even though I think it's going to be cringe-inducing and maybe probably a mediocre comedy at best, from the looks of the trailer, I still think that we should uh, support it because of the animators and because of all the hard work they're putting in. This is a different circumstance than just supporting a bad movie, is basically what I'm trying to say. Also, as a side note, Jim Carrey actually looks kind of good. I never cared for Jim Carrey. He's actually been kind of hit and miss for me. But I like the realistic design. It was it was fine enough. I, I looked at it and said, oh, okay, that's whatever. And then the design where he looked like the actual Eggman in, from the video game, I thought that was fantastic. However... They might pull a Super Mario Bros. movie where that good design is only at the end, and that'll be another stupid thing. So, I have dimmed hopes on this, because there's also still the caveat that they could redesign it, and it still looks like crap. It could be different crap, or just slightly better crap. And at that point, it's a different circumstance. And I'm sure I'll have an updated opinion on that once we see the new design, but for now... I think that we should kind of rally behind it a little bit and show our support that we believe, we, well, not that we believe in that because then we're, we're giving our trust into these executives that have already made a stupid decision, but to show our support for the men and women at work on this movie. So that's my opinion on this. I've heard mixed reviews from it just from my, uh, my friends, but be sure to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Thank you so much. I'm Eric from Media Matters.